I'm coming from Zagreb, from Museum Documentation Center. And my presentation, in my presentation, I will speak about, uh, just a little bit about uh, my institution, about computerization in Croatia, and after about uh, the tracking of digital heritage, and about our portals. Our institution is a public institution founded in 1955 and it is the central point of documentation, information and communication activities of the Creation Museum. The coordinator, we are also in the last 10 years the coordinator of network of museums. And we are the site for the promotion of Creation Museums at home and abroad, the place of gathering of museum professionals and for sharing the knowledge. The, uh, the project of computerization we started in uh, 1980s. It was a software modus uh, done by Museum Documentation Association. But the implementation of systematic computerization was ensured in 2004 by the Ministry of Culture when it acquired the M++ software produced by Link2. MDC was given the role of coordination and expert advice in installing, maintaining and monitoring the treatment of museum holdings with the aim of improving the computer cataloging of museum objects. By the end of 2016, the M++ software was installed in 158 Croatian museums. MTC continued to coordinate and advise in the installation of software, basic adjustment, documentation consulting, and education through workshops and seminars of professional staff. Just now I will show one M++ screen. It is the collection of uh, Museum Documentation Center. It's the collection of museum posters. And uh, we have a large collection, about 17,000 posters, and just uh, less than 6,000 is digitalized. On the next side, you will see the presentation of, this, of that collection on our website. Uh, we have launched a new version, redesigned version of website in July, and I'm sorry that I, I, I have all the slides in creation, but I hope that you will understand. This is the web presentation of that uh, collections, and you have seen the data uh, just now, uh, also a description about, uh, about uh, the poster and the other posters in those collections, in that collection. This is, a, a, this is not a collection, this is a project, but it is the, also the example of uh, implementation of M++ online. Uh, this is one uh, database about war damages to museums and museum holdings in Croatia. As you remember, in the 90s we were in homeland war, and uh, so, so many objects are destructed, stolen, and missed. And, uh, we have done this database uh, in, in which we just now have only 1,200 objects uh, 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 from about uh, 50,000 50, that is missed, uh, stolen or damaged. Uh, another project, uh, 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 in another topic, I will uh, speak just a little bit about projects for tracking the digital museum's heritage online. We have uh, developed uh, that project in several parallel directions. The project Museums of Creation on the Internet, we started in 1996, but we stopped it in 2008, and I will show you and explain you later why. We have done 33 museums uh, institutions website, and uh, after that, we realized that we have to change the strategy. In 2002, we started creating online collections. It is a very, very interesting situation that uh, so 29 private collectors donated their collections to the city of Zagreb. So we realized 10 virtual collections from that 2029. On this slide, you have seen the picture of uh, uh, slide, the, the front page of the website of the collection of Wenceslav Richter. 
We uh, also continued with monitoring of systematic column presentations of digitized museum collections from other museums. And from this year, we organized manifestation which promote <coughs> multimedia and web projects. On this slide, this is also an example of donations to the city of Zagreb online. As you can see, it is uh, implemented the same methodology. There are uh, all objects, uh, photos of all objects, metadata. Uh, there are some description of the collections itself and also something about the biography of the collectors. And in this case, you can also listen the audiovisual records. I have already mentioned uh, that uh, the information about Digital Museum Heritage Online we published on our website. It is this lit on this latest picture. The presentation is very simple. Uh, it is a picture, a title, and a link to, to that original website. And uh, we just now have information about online exhibitions, online collections, virtual exhibitions, virtual museums, and the total number is about 55 digitized museum objects included on all those websites. Uh, just a few words about the manifestation movie. I'm very happy that uh, I have a possibility to listen to the presentation yesterday about Czech colleagues and about their experience in their festival of museums, uh, museums film. We have a younger manifestation, it's called the uh, movie, Muse Video Film, Museums Video uh, Film, and this, uh, as you can see, it will take place next uh, week in Museum of Contemporary Art, when about 34 museums' films will be shown. The next day we'll be organized a movie lab, it's a new one festival, a festival of multimedia and web projects. What we pointed as, as an exceptional fact in connection with Movie Lab is that all the presentations are being presented jointly by museums professionals and their outsourced companies together. Uh, just now I will show you a few examples of the projects that will be shown. This first one is produced by Ethnographic Museum of Istria and uh, it is called Istrian Traditional Instruments Online. This is uh, the experience of archaeological museum in Zagreb. Uh, last four years they have done a lot of uh, experiment, experiments and so they will present us in a presentation called Tovar the Virtual Archaeological Museum in Zagreb. Uh, this is a very interesting project uh, done by student Sanja Kuzmanovic uh, from Design School and she has uh, done uh, this web archive of one artist and of his project Anti-Museum. Networking of the digital collections of the Croatian Tourism Museum and the Movitor Virtual Museum of Tourism. It's another presentation produced by Croatian Tourism Museum. And this is one multimedia exhibition done by Zadar Archaeological Museum. Uh, this is one really, uh, really interesting project done by, produced by Center for Women's Studies who take, takes care for Maria Juric Zagorka Memorial Apartment. She is a well-known uh, writer from the, who lived in uh, the beginning of the last century and they have done one project together with Radiona Orgis, an association for implement, implementation of do-it-yourself cultural projects. This is a very huge project that this year has uh, um, it's awarded with uh, uh, award for cultural attraction in, uh, in Croatia for this year and it is then produced by City of Šibenik, Šibenik Municipal Museum and also Kade Consortium. And you can see all digital contexts uh, that is done for presentation of one fort, Barone Fort. This, uh, these were the examples of the presentations. And in the third part of my presentation, I will talk just a little bit about our website. 
We are very glad that today, we, that this year, we celebrate the 20 years of presence on the on the web, and that the web, our website is characterized with a vast range of digital content. We are also proud uh, uh, on powerful linkage with the museum community because we are aware that nothing we should do. Be, um, uh, without their help and uh, communication. So, MDC has managed during these 60 years to advance and put the proper value upon very diverse experience and in the last 20 years to bring them together in the digital presence. Just now in this slide I have put a list of all uh, projects and collections online that we have realized during these uh, 90 years, but I don't want, I, I will show just a few slides of some of them because it is no time to speak about each. This is a collection of photographs that we have in our institution. It's connected with the museum, museum's activities, expositions, uh, museum professionals, and we have about 30,000 uh, photographs from museums filled. And uh, just now, maybe, maybe a little part of that is presented on the web. This is the collection of videos, because uh, after the last edition of the movie, we, we decided to put them on, online also. This is very, uh, very interesting project of personal archive of distinguished museum professionals. You can see the pictures of, of, of the person, and on this slide you can see some data about about uh, curator or professionals and a little description, little photo album, and also you can talk, you can listen uh, the voice of the person. On the, first, uh, on the first page of our, uh, our website, we have included in third column the project calendar of events. Uh, we have developed it from 1999 as a collaborative project. That means that if some museums want to be a part of MDC pool, we get into it a password and so he can in database put it each uh, event that he that they want. We are also a very strong publisher. We have about uh, ten publications. The ten publication, and this is one of them. It is Informatica Museologica. It has its uh, paper edition, but also e edition. So if you want, you can read a full text of all articles that is included in that issue. In 2005, we have developed a site creation museums and collections online. But uh, from this year, we started uh, to, we have developed that as a subsidiary site. That means that, that the other side different from, it's connected with the first one, but it is uh, with a different, uh, different content. As you have seen from, that, from this map, you can find each museum you, in, in uh, several regions. You choose a region and you will find in same color the museums. You can find it on uh, basic search, on advanced search. Searchable is according to the following nine criteria. Status, city, kind of museum, museum collections, documentation funds, archive library, restoration workshop, preparation workshop. You can find uh, in one city uh, all the museums. You can also use Google Maps Street View. And the objective of MDC was to create the platform from presentation of all museums in creation at three levels. As I have already spoken, uh, I have already mentioned the project of Museum of Creation on Internet. We have 
developed only 33 websites, but we wanted to do that for all Croatian museums. And that's why we have do this project. And uh, on all museums in Croatia are described on three levels, on museum level, collection level, and item level. On this picture you, you can see, in this first phase, we have realized to connect five databases and to put the results on the, on the museum profile page. That means that from uh, online ORG, you can find all services, description of a museum, a list of collections. From calendar of events, you have a search of that museum. And also from, uh, from MDC funds, you can find all, uh, all um, uh, posters um, from personal archive, all persons, and from library catalog, everything that we have in our MDC. MDC library. Our, uh, we would like in the second phase also to connect another three database, so that will be our aim. Uh, if, you, if you want to know something about collections, you can choose also a collection from, from the museum profile. And you can find all data about uh, that collection and also uh, collection description and also museum objects from the selected collection. If you, if you want to know something about uh, one object, you can click on them and uh, you will find the presentation of, those, of that museum object with enlarged photo, with uh, some uh, data, and also with, uh, different, with, with all, uh, all objects that are included in that collection. So, MDC is encouraged by the, the idea that today the digital revolution is going on every day and that it seeks constant change in innovativeness, knowledge and new ways of communication. And I would like just to say thank you for your attention and my uh, last slide is connected with the first slide because I started with the QR code of uh, QR, QR code. I'm sorry, just This is a QR code that is in the front cover of our paper edition guide to Croatian Museum and Collections. And if you snapshot, take a snapshot, you, you will open a video, video, a short video, about eight, eight minutes, showing the uh, multimedia uh, presentation of permanent exhibition of some Croatian Museum. I have a video here, but I'm not so sure that we have enough time to show it. Thank you.